In this clip I want to show you how to find the surface area of a prism. And the prism that we're looking at is this cylinder. A cylinder is a prism because it, each, its end is a circle and whenever I take a, a slice out of it, it will always be a circle all the way through. And that's what a definition of a, a um, prism is. The cross-section area remains the same all the way through. So this really is a circular prism, which for some reason we call a cylinder. Basically, to find the surface area of any prism, what we must remember is the surface area is twice the area of the ends plus the perimeter of the end times the length. Or if you like, it's the surface area is twice the area plus the perimeter times the length. So let's look at how that works out for this cylinder. Now with this one, I can take it apart, pull out this inner bit here, which unfolds. So what we have here is a cylinder, which I can then unfold and pull apart to make a flat, two-dimensional um, shape. And this flat, two-dimensional shape we can then fold up to produce that cylinder. And this shape we call a net. So let's look at more detail at this net. Um, just to make it easier, I've, I've got um, a paper version of it. So basically we have a rectangle with two circles on it. The circles um, um, represent the top and the bottom of the cylinder. And sometimes you see it drawn like that with the net. So what we've got here are the two ends. So we must find the area of those two ends. Now, because it's a circle, we know the area is pi r squared, or pi times the radius times the radius. So that will give me the area of one end and obviously the other end will be identical so it's two lots of the ends. So the area of two ends, we found that. But what about this rectangular piece? Well if you think back to this shape here, this rectangular piece here opens out and there's that part there. So this bit here, or well, the width of it, is the height of the cylinder. But what about along here? What's this distance here? Well, let's look at this again. Here's my base. Now if I start to fold it around, you can see this piece folds round and is the same as the perimeter of the circle. And as you should be aware, we call the perimeter of the circle the circumference. So the area of the shape is the perimeter times the height. Perimeter times the height. So the area of the, the cylinder is the area of the two ends plus the area of this rectangle which is the perimeter times the height. So if we remember back to our original statement, the surface area of a prism is twice the area of the ends plus the perimeter of the end times the length. So that's how it works for circle, and it will work exactly the same for any prism.